and welcome to this special edition of J22. Today we are at Factor HQ where we're gonna build up the Factor van. This is the bike I'm gonna use for the KM Challenge. Every year I'm doing something special for the KM Challenge and this year Factor allowed me to build a bike in their HQ. So what's special about this bike? First of all, it's the material that's been used for the bike to make it. So for this bike that we are using pitch fiber, boron and uh, tech stream. Not many bike brands out there use material this expensive as it's super expensive. But because Factor owns their own factory, they have the technology and the advantage of controlling all the links in the chain. So this one is using a chrome decal uh, for more visibility. I'm having a little bit of help here building up the bike. So I choose to go for a SRAM red option this year with a set of EE brakes, standard black ink bar stamp, seat post black ink and a San Marco saddle. The wheels are something special as well as they, these wheels are a set of black ink wheels but with a special rim. So what does the bike weigh in total? Let's see. So we're having a 5.9 kilo bike with pedals, with bottom cages, with everything. So this is the bike I'm gonna ride for the camp challenge and let's hope it's fast. See you out there. Take care. What you just witnessed guys is Mr. John Epson. Ah! So you just witnessed Mr. John Epson building up his new bike for the Taiwan KM Challenge 2019. As you all know, he is the three times champion or the three times the winner of this event or this race or this challenge. This ah! So you just guys witness a video. Come on! <sighs> So you just guys witness a video of John Ebsen building his new bike, the Factor Ram. And John Ebsen, ladies and gentlemen, is a three times champion of the Taiwan KOM Challenge. And he plans to do it again for the fourth time. Yeah! The Taiwan KOM Challenge is 105 km. There are three editions, the Spring Edition, Summer Edition, and the Autumn Edition. The Autumn Edition is the race. The first 18 km is the neutral zone, where the commissioner is controlled by the pace. After that, they will be left turn to the Taroko Gorge, where the timing chip will start. And there, there are 87 km of Akiatan. We will start from sea level to 3,275 meters. Ganong kataas. Ito naman yung profile ng last 10 kilometers. Kung saan, napakaraming pader. Ang taas-taas na nga <laughs> ng elevation yan, ang dami pang pader dyan. Sinasabi ko to kasi natry ko na po siya dalawang beses. There is no other race in the world na pwede mong makasalamuha o makarace ang mga world tour riders like the likes of Vincenzo Nibali last 2017 siyang nanalo last 2017 Vincenzo Nibali of Team Bahrain Merida yung mga famous famous winners of it and I am very excited to say that uh, the Facebook page of the Taiwan KOM organizers has confirmed Nathan Peter Haas Nathan Haas of Katusha Alpesin is coming to this race Aussie, Australian Nathan Haas and the other teams are CC Lib, CCC Lib Team, the women team. Pero hindi pa confirm kung sino ang sasama. Not yet confirm who are the people who is coming, the ladies. Last but not the least, World Tour team who is coming are the EF Education First. Pero hindi pa rin confirm who are the riders who are coming. The best part about this race is the prize money. Male and female will be both the same and we will all start together. I would like to make a special shout out to Mr. John Epson for letting me use his video. And yes guys, he has a clothing brand called JE22 on his Facebook page. I will put a link in the description below later. Please go check it out. Shout out time. Gusto ko mag shout out kay Mr. Deo Cristino, Rohan Jacob Navarro, Ralph Billiones, RJ Bautista, Yan Yan, Yan Cyclist, parehas lang ata yan, Brian Di Maano, and Ezekiel Manalili. Shout out daw sa kanyang team JD Bike Shop. Very good, okay. Shout out sa inyong lahat. 